Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. One thing I noticed, though it may be well wrapped in the box, is certainly loose within it. So let's get this cut open and take a look. I ordered an Ishapur Enfield number one Mark III 410 musket with complete trigger group, rear sight, and front sight off center fire systems. They listed it on Friday, I think. It was a cheap price, I saw an email, so I went ahead and purchased it. I received it on Monday, but even before I received it in hand, I had an email from Centerfire Systems saying that what they sent me was incorrect and is missing parts because they also had one listing that was listed as surplus incomplete with a stripped bolt. Now, I don't know what all is going to be missing. The one that I was supposed to receive specifically lists hand guards, bolt, body, muzzle cover, rear band, uh, all these other things. So I really don't know what's missing. So we'll find out when I open it up. So it was shipped without any bolt at all. So presumably that's going to be one of the things I receive in this other package. No band, no upper hand guard. No safety. Pretty, oh man. Pretty wobbly there. Got some interesting markings on the rear of the stock here. Missing a disc. It's got the rear sling swivel. It's either missing part of the trigger group or it's just so rusted that it does not return. So pretty rough shape. 1917. Mark three. This is pretty, pretty bad. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is like, looks like something almost went all the way through it, the crack. This is in pretty, pretty rough shape. Get a little flag out of here. So they've, it's a single shot, uh, changed, rebarreled in, or changed to be in 410. It's not, an American 410 cartridge, or at least from what I have read, it's something a little shorter, a little bit different. You can make it into an American 410, but I would not shoot this one. I mean, I guess technically I have some spare parts from one of the drill rifles. I could try making this a bit better, but man, this is pretty rough. But we'll see how it looks once I get the other parts that were missing and assemble it all together. So a few days ago, I got this Enfield in 410 in, and I've cleaned up a little bit so you can see the markings better on the wrist and on the stock. The markings are pretty interesting. It's just too bad the stock is so damaged. Also, it's covered in like a green paint all along the barrel. So that's kind of interesting. So, like I said, I ordered it, and then before I even got it, I got an email saying, hey, we missed parts, because I ordered the one that was supposed to have a bolt, hand guard, complete firing assembly, and you've already seen that, so let's open this and see how the rest of the parts look. So I have an action cover, at least I believe so. Now this is just a full on pouch. I 
I have missing hand guard one and another. I'm a little confused there. I have small oiler, a stripped bolt. Magazine springs for number four, even though this one has been altered to be a single shot for the 410. One of the barrel bands for the fore end. A sling swivel, which this one did have one on the back already. And Just a big, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me consult the center fire listing. Okay, so I took another look at the listing and this bolt is an Australian butt plate bolt, which I guess I never looked that closely at how big the bolt is on the end, but it is accurate. But that's, that's kind of crazy how big that is. And this is a muzzle cover. So you stick it over the end of the muzzle. Stick it over the end. And then if you snap it together, it'll be on there more secure. You can still, eh, you kind of have to unsnap it to pull it off. But So that's what those are. So I am disappointed because one of the things I said was like complete trigger, but this is obviously something's wrong with this trigger. It has no spring tension. Oh, there it goes a little bit. Maybe I just have to clean it up and clean it out. This is really still dirty, even though I've cleaned up a little bit. Man, I just wish the stock wasn't as messed up because it does have some cool markings. So this is the long branch. This is clearly meant for an infield where the site is at the rear over the bridge. But with this site located part way down, there's obviously no way for this, <laughs> this stock piece they give you to fit with it. I mean, I have the front end that I can get and lock down, but this, this is, it's worthless as far as fitting on this rifle. So, So these were $125. It's more to be, I think, an interesting piece than anything. I mean, the, oh man. The, <laughs> part of the reasons they are selling these was they had some kits to try to make some faux Delisle carbines, which were infields converted to 45 ACP for, and are very rare and expensive if you have a legitimate one. So people recreate those. I mean, this is, I was hoping to get something that I could have potentially try to shoot. I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm missing pieces in the bolt, obviously. I mean, it said stripped bolt, but I was still kind of thinking it would be okay. But so it was $125. You get some interesting odds and ends. I mean, it's weird that this has a, what looks like a very old tag on it. It's like they're just kind of clearing out part of the warehouse. The action cover is pretty neat. And there's some other kind of random pieces that are interesting. But it's not quite what I was expecting or wanting. See, this is wood here to fill in the bottom of the action to make it single shot for the 410. So it's an interesting historic piece. Not really what I was expecting, and I may have gotten a bad one just because I got the incomplete version. Because I saw one other post so far about these, and they theirs looked a lot better than this. Interesting markings, but really at this point, more of a wall hanger probably. I mean, there's I I can try to clean it up and see, but 
I mean, there's still things missing I'd have to get. And obviously just the ammo itself is kind of an issue. Uh, as of when I'm filming, the full ones are still available. I And the incomplete ones are sold out, so you'll get a full one, I guess. But I don't know how much I can really recommend getting it at this point. I do have the sling that goes up here. The swivel. But it didn't have the screws to attach it, so... That's another piece I would need to get to complete. So, all in all, honestly, for $125, uh, I mean, do you really expect something that good? But I was expecting something a little better. I mean, if you're going off grading, this is C grade, I would think. But it is an interesting piece. But at this point, it's probably just going to kind of hang up on the wall, honestly, under my one of my infield drill rifles that I purchased before. So definitely kind of disappointing in this uh, and everything here. Some interesting bits, but I'm repeating myself now. Anyways, that's all for today. I just purchased this on a whim because I thought it would be interesting. I purchased it as soon as I saw it in an email. Got it pretty quick, but then I had to wait for these extra pieces. And you see what I got. So, you know, if you're seeing this, if they're still for sale, make your own judgments. I don't know what else to tell you there. <laughs> I, I feel kind of disappointed, especially with compared to the one other one I've seen online was a lot better condition, but didn't have all the interesting markings either that I saw. That's all for today. Thanks for checking out the video. If you've made it to the end, please consider supporting me on Patreon, join our Discord, liking the video, sharing it, and subscribing to the channel if you're not already to get more content. I have lots of Millsurp videos. I buy Millsurp deals when they come up and kind of review them and just see what's out there, as well as various political things and other gun-related topics. Thanks for watching.